Hey everyone, so I'm working on finishing these pieces and this is a diptych. I started this a while ago and it took me a while to get the custom panels. They've been mounted now. I'll just show you the side here, the cradle. And it was quite a process getting the, the works on paper mounted on panel just because these are so big. Um, probably the biggest that I've done yet as far as mounting on panel. and. You know, I do like to work on paper because it gives me the chance to curate my own work. I'm preparing for a show. It's a pretty big solo exhibition, so I needed to just be able to work on paper and consider my options. So now that it's on the panel, and also the paint is very dry, I had to wait for it to dry before I could mount it. Um, so now I'm, I'm kind of looking at each panel individually and deciding, you know, what are the finishing touches? What are the final touches that I need to do? And um, just I, I have looked at these in black and white and I can show you how these look in black and white. They are meant to go together, uh, kind of to speak to each other. Not that they can't be disconnected, but I kind of like to see them together. So they're of the same palette, uh, same style obviously, same, similar shapes. Um, I feel like the left panel right now is, is working pretty well. What I like about it is that the whites really lead my eye around the painting and I also like the smaller circles that are kind of like in a grid. Um, I can zoom in and show you a close up of that. The other thing that I did, uh, the last thing I did on the paper before I let them dry for several months was I took my RNF pigment stick that's cadmium red light and the strange thing is that it almost looks fluorescent against these desaturated mid-tones and I liked it. It was kind of a shocker at first, but now I'm feeling like, you know, maybe I need a little bit more of that on the right-hand side. So I'm mostly focusing on the right-hand side. Um, what's kind of bothering me right now about the right-hand side is, I can walk a little closer here. Basically, this shape down on the bottom here, the white, um, I'm going to cut into that with another darker color. I may leave a little bit of an edge or a wider edge, I'm not quite sure, because that shape is just in the wrong place. It's a light, it's right on the edge, I don't really like that. And I also feel like on the left hand side here are those circles that are in the upper right hand quadrant. I want to have some echo of that on the right hand panel. Um, the upper right hand corner has a lot of crazy mark making you can see but I want to enhance that more. There's also kind of an, uh, a feeling of stripes up there, but I think I can, I can make that even more so. So I want to emphasize that. What else? Um, you know, aside from adding a little bit more of that cadmium red light, which is again, looking pretty fluorescent, I saw this line and I think that at the time I, I can't quite remember, it's, it's cold wax medium and oil. Both of these are cold wax medium and oil, but I think that I made those marks just, it was like one of the last things I did, and they're kind of too light. So I was experimenting with, you know, materials. And so because I want this to kind of dry quickly, I don't, I could use my RNF pigment sticks again, but you know, that'll be months and months before they dry. So I was looking over here at, uh, you know, some of my other materials that I can use to, to make marks. And these are my Neo Color 2s. They're water soluble. And I tried the, um, this is a light gray. And this gray is uh, very close to the gray that's on the piece. And I tried it out and it works really well against the, um, the dry cold wax medium surface. And I, you know, I was gonna try some pastels too. I thought, well, I could try that, but I like the Neo Color 2s because they do have a bit of wax in them. They're also water soluble, but um, if I put those on and then I put a, a final layer of cold wax medium, I think that will seal them in really well. So that's probably what I'm going to use for the subtle changes here. Um, again, I, I can put, you know, I can go right back into cold wax medium and oils and I do have them out, so I, I will be using some of that. but. Wherever I put it, I want it to be kind of thin so that it doesn't take too long to dry. And uh, that little mustardy yellow color is also kind of a color surprise. It's very different from the um, transparent earth yellow that I was using. And I might have pulled out a RNF pigment stick at the last minute and tried that color. 
can't quite remember what that was. I'm sure I can find it. But anyways, here's a close-up of some of the marks, and, and there's that really fluorescent, what looks fluorescent, it's really just cadmium red light, but um, when it's next to this cadmium red deep, it just uh, really is quite vibrant. There's some of that transparent earth yellow, some collage paper. Um, I really like this mark right here, so I'm happy how that came out. I probably will add a little bit more calligraphy. There's more marks up here, and then at the very top, I did put in some mark making there. But here are those circles, more of a close-up of, it's, it's a relative grid, and each circle is different. You know, some are like these stripes surrounded by mid-tone, others are mid-tone surrounded by light, and then some are just mid-tone against mid-tone with a very amorphous edge. Some have hard edges like down here. And um, this swirly thing here, I thought I might just, in the very smallest way, in, in this very matte, kind of dull, mid-tone area, I might put in some lines, again with the Neo Color 2s, just because I don't want them to show up a lot, but I want there to be something in that area. Uh, so those are just some of the things that I'll be doing. And I just thought I would show you, uh, now that it's mounted on panel, um, it was kind of a relief. I had my husband help me which is really important. It's a great idea when you work this big on paper, when you have to mount it onto panel, to have somebody help you. It was a big job. <laughs>
Okay, I think I have now finished these. I did put a little bit more of the cadmium red light in there. As you can see, they're kind of, um, I put in a line that makes it feel like it is a diptych. And here's an up close view of these little circles. I just wanted kind of a minimal feel for the circles here, some detail. And then it's a mid-tone against a mid-tone with a little bit of line around it so that it shows but it doesn't take up too much attention. And then down here, I added just a bit more of that cadmium red light. I knocked out that white shape because it was bothering me. Over here, I did just add a little touch of um, that woody white to make it a little bit more high key. Also down here, just a little bit of that woody crayon. You can barely see it, but um, here I put a thicker mark of the cadmium red light. It's kind of juicy, it's gonna take a while to dry. And then up in this corner, I wanted to add a little bit more detail, which I think I did. Mostly just line, but I wanted it to feel kind of like stripes a little bit more, so I enhanced the line that was in between the stripes, and then I kind of rubbed it with my a paper towel or my glove or something like that, just so it wasn't too obvious. And then here I just put in some they are meaningful letters, but um, did it with my left hand so it didn't look too literal and I didn't want it to be too readable. Um, yeah, so there's that. Um, so here's, I'm gonna back up a little bit. And then I put a little bit of line down here on that shape, just scribbly with um, Neo Color 2. So pretty much I think it's good. I'm, I feel really good about it. Um, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I have a lot of other paintings that I have to finish kind of like this. Once they're on the panel, I take a look at them again and do the final things that I want to do. Yeah, so thanks everyone. I just wanted to show you what I was doing. Bye now.